Well, if you feel you're losing out on life because you're tired, lack motivation to do the things you love, and can't seem to find any answers, then our friend, natural health expert Dr. Josh Shields, may have the answers. He is the owner and clinic director of Integrative Wellness Centers. Doctor, thank you for being back. Everybody gets tired at times, but being tired all the time can mean that something bigger is happening, right? Yeah, you know, Toddy, symptoms should never be ignored. Uh, they're the sign that something's not working right in your body. And I want you to imagine if you're driving your car and it starts smoking, I don't think you'd keep driving down the road and <laughs> ignoring that. But all too often when it comes to our health, we seem to ignore these problems. A, because we think they're normal, or B, because we take medications to suppress those symptoms, but if we keep ignoring what our bodies are trying to tell us, it can allow the underlying root cause of the problem to fester and get worse and can lead to life-threatening issues. And we actually brought a testimony of one of our patients that we found what was the cause of her problems. And if she hadn't addressed it, it could have been potentially life-threatening down the road for her. Okay, let's check it out. Before I came into the office, my health was a mess. Um, I couldn't really get out of bed until like after 11 o'clock. Um, in the morning, I couldn't, I had no energy, and the thing is, like, I'm a college kid, so I need energy to do things, like classes and stuff like that, and I was like, going and doing things was a chore, and I just felt like I was just like a slug that was just barely getting through the day, and I realized that I really needed to change something. Um, I have been under care for a month now and my health is completely different. I have so much energy to spend. I'm feeling more like a person, which is kind of weird to say, but before I was just kind of felt like I was barely scraping by. I cannot tell you how much better I feel. Like I just feel so happy and I, my focus is better. I don't forget things anymore. Uh, I would say that this can really make a huge difference. Wow, and yeah. she's young, so you wouldn't expect, but what can cause constant fatigue? You know, the number one cause that we find in our office is that 90% of our patients that come in our clinic have nutritional deficiencies. And it's so important to understand that vitamins and minerals are cons considered essential vitamins and minerals because they're essential to you functioning and feeling your best. Mm -hmm. And all too often people go to their doctors and they're told everything's normal, but those doctors typically don't have the proper testing. It's not advanced enough and it's not comprehensive enough to really find those or pinpoint those deficiencies. And that's what going to a doctor like ourselves is so important to help find these deficiencies. Okay, so beside, you know, nutritional deficiencies, what else are you finding? You know, uh, another common cause is insulin resistance. And now insulin's a hormone that's released when you eat. And over time, if you eat too many of the wrong foods, you start developing insulin resistance. So your body starts making more and more of this insulin. Well, insulin stores the foods that you eat as potential energy or future energy. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell from this image here, this person has too much potential or stored energy. Okay. And the problem with insulin though, insulin can increase your risk for cancer, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. And so it's something that needs to be checked with all of your uh, people that suspect fatigue. Okay, and what's the final cause of fatigue that you find in your clinic? One of the most common things we find is inflammation. Now, if you look at the slide here on the left, that's what would be considered a normal healthy cell. Mm -hmm. But waste, and debris, and all the toxins in our life start to bombard these cells and over time they start to cause damage to the cells. Now as you can tell on that cell on the right, that cell isn't going to function as well as the one on the left. That cell on the right though research has told us now is linked to Alzheimer's, linked mm -hmm. to dementia, linked to heart disease, linked to cancer and actually on uh, that first client we talked about Nicole, that's what we found with her. So if we can find that inflammation's high and we can reduce that inflammation, it can not only make people feel better now, but can give them a better projection for the future, better okay, outlook for the future. All right, so if someone is suffering from fatigue, what do you suggest that they do? Well, obviously, I, I, I think what they've done hasn't worked to this point, so they probably need to reach out to a functional doctor like ourselves and, and come in and they can actually schedule with us for a free consultation to find out if we're a good fit and if we can help them. Uh, we can also, we have a seminar coming up on February the 9th, it's a Saturday morning, where we're gonna have a workshop where we're going to a lot more things like this and it really is a fun time. It's a pretty awesome uh, seminar. All right, that's great. To take advantage of this offer or to register for the upcoming hormone seminar, you can go to the website, integrativewellnesscenters.com or call them at 734-779-1650. Um, Dr. Shields, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Being again. here, we will be right back.